Hey, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brian Clark, and uh, for the last 28 years, I've had the distinct privilege of calling this fine young gentleman here my baby brother. I can't even begin to tell you on this day how uh, unbelievably proud and thrilled I am of the man that he's become and the beautiful bride that he's chosen. There are certain traits that make a Clark man. It's the truth. And Mikey exhibits many of the finer qualities. For instance, he's very loving, he's very hardworking, he's very trusting, very kind-hearted. One day, I'm completely positive he'll be an amazing father. He's extremely loyal to his friends, his family, his wife, his future children. He has an unbelievable determination that those of you who know him really well will know. Things from when he was a little boy. Uh, any video game that he played, by the way, this guy loved video games. He would not stop until he had an absolutely perfect game. Uh, something as silly as one day as a kid, he decided he was going to learn to do a headstand. Weird as that is, he just every day was hell bent on he was going to get it, and he would not stop until it was done. His uh, little music career, uh, as many of you would probably know, he is an unbelievable musician. The man is an incredibly talented guy. the country with some unbelievable talent. He's done a lot of things that many of us only dream of. He, uh, his latest venture has been looking to find the perfect wife. And again, he wouldn't stop until he reached the pinnacle of perfection. I never knew what my brother's wife was going with. I knew one day I'd be standing here giving this speech and I always wondered, beautiful blonde, brunette, redhead, Jimmy, I didn't know who <laughs> <laughs> that he was able to find such an unbelievable angelic beauty. That's right. I know. Sorry, Jimmy. Uh, no, you want Karen Square. <laughs> and you know, over the years, due to my brother's kind heart and generosity, there have been some women that have taken advantage of that and used him for his kind heart and love. Becca never did that. Ever. Because that's not the kind of person she is. She loves him for who he truly is. She's sweet. She's also hardworking, loving, tolerant, patient. <laughs> she's beautiful. Yeah. But most of all, most importantly, you truly love my baby brother. And that means the world to me. And I will always have your back. And wrap this up. Yeah, all right. Because <laughs> now it's story time. <laughs> so Mikey, Mikey's had a lot of interesting things uh, in his life, from running around with nothing but a motorcycle helmet on, headbutting street lamps. To, and, and by the way, I'm sure at least half of you have seen him in the buff at some point. The other of you, half of you did not. Just give it a few more weeks. Or, if you want to know what it's like, just go to Larry's Tavern and ask anybody in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this kid, I, he's been getting me in trouble our entire lives, literally. From the time he was born and escaping the crib and getting me blamed for it, to uh, we uh, we would argue about things and he would just start yelling and then punch me in the face and run like hell. Just so our parents would hear him before I caught him. And people wondered why I decided to tell him that the dryer was a really fun carnival ride. <laughs> I only let him tumble around like three times before I opened the door up. He looked like he stuck a penny in a light socket. His hair was straight out. Eyes were rolling around. But I didn't remember a later time, because you were like 15, when uh, I went out of Florida for vacation. He asked me to get him some fireworks on the way home. So, yeah, yeah, that was right. And so, being a good big brother, I'm just out to the border, and I call him on there. I'm like, hey, what do you think we get for you? And I go through, and I get him like a shopping cart full of fireworks. And uh, I come home, and I get into a wee minute of traffic. So, I explicitly told him, do not. Use the fireworks until after it rains. So what happens two days later, I get a phone call, because again, it's my fault, not his fault. Why did you give your brother fireworks? He just set a field on fire. <laughs> this is a fireman. 
<laughs> field on fire because him and his genius buddies, we're, we're all around here, decided, decided to have a Roman candle fight in a dry field. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so I uh, think of being a fireman, you think he's just, you know, full of bravery, not afraid of anything. Running into a burning building with no fear. But I do know one thing, he is terrified. And uh, he was down in Florida frolicking with uh, his best friend Jimmy in the water. <laughs> and, uh, yep. and as they're in the water, all of a sudden, something comes along near them that's rather large. And it took him in an absolute panic. Run out of the water screaming in horror as they look back and realize little children running out to play with the cuddly, friendly manatee that had just come up and bumped them. <laughs> Burning buildings, no problem. Big, funny, cuddly manatees. That's huge. Terrifying. They're fantastic. They're Everybody terrifying. Else, You'll never look back on it. Oh, well, I also asked some of the groomsmen uh, a few of the things that I thought were the most, or that they thought were most interesting about them, some little funny stories. And, one of them was, uh, Will reminded me, the first time they met, they just, the kind of goofy, happy guy Mikey is, mind you, he'd never met him, and he shows up at his door, half lit, big, goofy, friendly, loving smile on his face, pizza in one hand, marinara sauce all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's already eaten like three slices of pizza, because he was hungry. You won't marinara sauce, it's out of the door, Another thing, my, uh, my brother actually used to work for me. I don't know if any of you guys know that. He's the worst flat cook, a flat cook ever in the history of ever, ever. So we actually made him uh, become a prep cook and prep uh, pickles, which he hates portioning pickles. So if you ever want to scare him, just threaten him if you're going to make him portion pickles. So I didn't work for years. <laughs> Through all the BS and headache, though, I got to say that I would not change my baby brother one bit. I would. I love you exactly the way you are. All your obnoxious, obnoxiousness and everything. Because that's, that's what makes you you. And uh, some advice I want to give you guys. Don't ever, ever stop trying. Don't ever stop loving each other. Don't stop making that effort each and every day to express your love to each other. Because your marriage, it's like the beautiful flowers we see. You plant a seed, you cultivate. And all of a sudden, you see these beautiful blooms, these beautiful flowers. And even though those flowers are going to wilt over time, if you continuously care for that plant, there's going to be new, beautiful buds coming up one after another. And your life is going to be full of beauty and love. Now, as Mikey said uh, earlier on in his speech, he took some of my stuff. Their first kiss was actually uh, on his 12th birthday behind our godparents' pool. They were playing spin the Sprite bottle. As innocent as that is, they shared their first kiss. And who would have known that a child's game could spark something so beautiful and lasting? And it's as the old adage goes, if you truly love something, let it go and it will come back to you. And like a beautiful dove that had been released to the heavens, it came home. It's home to stay. And that's where it's going to be forever in the hearts and devotion of these two beautiful people that I love very much. So I'd like everybody to take their glasses and raise them to.